that brings you face to face with farmers in poverty. और सिर्फ और उसकी वजह से उनका लोन बढ़ता है। ये जो लोन के फिगर्स हैं, again from the same survey, the figure is average loan of a farming family in our country was 47,000 rupees per family. और इसकी सबसे शॉकिंग चीज ये है कि जितना बड़ा लैंड होल्डिंग है उतना ही ज्यादा लोन है उसके। so, bigger landowners are not more prosperous, they are more indebted. Jitna bada aapke paas land size hai, utna hi jada aapke loan hai. This is Sarkari information. This is what leads to situations of suicide. Suicide ke upar kaafi charcha hoti hai, power suicide. But no one wants to go to the depth of the suicide. You know, suicide is not simply a temporary crop failure. Suicide is triggered basically by the fact that farming and Indian agriculture is unremunerative. Farming as an activity is increasingly becoming unremunerative. And if loan crop damage ho jata, uska crisis. जैसे पूरे नॉर्थ इंडिया में इस साल क्रॉप डैमेज बहुत मेजर हुआ है, स्ट्रॉंग हुए, रेन्स आए, अन अनटाइमली रेन्स आए, और उसके कंपेंसेशन का मैकेनिज्म इतना खराब है, दैट वर्चुअली इन नॉर्थ इंडिया एंड यूपी फॉर एक्सेंपल फार्मर्स गोट 200 रुपीस पर एकड़ एस कंपेंसेशन फॉर क्रॉप this is the situation all over North India. So, it's a combination of lack of income, accumulated debt, and no protection against risk. This is what is pushing farmers in this. And this is when farmers' organizations and farmers' movement is at its lowest. So the crisis of agriculture, but the point I'm making is, it's not merely a temporary distress. It is a crisis in agriculture. And when crisis, the crisis of the peak pe gaya, farmers' movement is the lowest based. Farmers' movement is disintegrated. It has very little vision right now. There is no national presence of farmers' organization. There is no national determination to fight it. And this when the government is taking one decision after another which goes against farmers. In much of the in the last one year, there was a crisis of urea. Urea availability a major crisis. At that time the cause was not known. The entire urea crisis was triggered by refusal of the government to import. Government ने urea import को drastically cut down कर दिया because of which there was a urea crisis. So it's triggered by government policy. The government said, BJP when it came to power, it said it will offer minimum support price which is 50 percent above the cost of farm, the cost of that crop. It didn't do that. On the contrary. BJP gave an affidavit in the Supreme Court saying that it is impossible to do any such thing because it will lead to market distortions. So, ek taraf halafnama deke kehte hain, ek taraf apna manifesto mein kehte hain ki hum 50 percent badhayenge. Aur dusri taraf halafnama deke kehte hain ki aisi cheez hoi nahi sakti kabhi. This is what the government. Procurement has seriously suffered because FCI ka role procurement will be bad. And finally comes the land acquisitions bill. Whatever little concessions that were offered by the 2013 Act are now being withdrawn. This is the overall scenario in which we have to So I was just farmers wali baat iste bata raha tha. Our immediate challenge, immediate challenge is to 
is to offer a resistance to that. And I wanted also to mention it because this is what we are involved in right now. So just to sum up all that I have been trying to say, and uh, thank you for your patience in all this. Uh, what I have been trying to say is that merely that, that inauguration of Telangana, a new state, offers us a new opportunity. But we have to take this opportunity. Change will not happen by its own. In order to make use of this opportunity, we have to change the frame in which we used to think about revolution and revolutionary changes. In order to execute that, we have to analyze contemporary India very clearly and understand the nature of challenge. The challenge is not a long-term, deep challenge. And in order to face that challenge, we need to create new kinds of movements in the country. So far, we have had lots of movements. And in fact, in the last 20, 30 years, much of the energy in the country has come from these new social movements. But these new social movements need to be politicized. Politicized ka matlab sirf party banana nahi, sirf election larana hai. Lekin usko ek deeper politics mein involve kar. So our challenge today is how do we politicize these social movements? How do we give more energy to these movements? How do we link it to a broader politics of social change at the national level. This is the challenge all of us face. On behalf of Swaraj Abhiyan, of which I am a member, and in which, in one of the meetings, some of your colleagues were very kind to come and participate and you know, uh, take a look at what we are doing. This is an attempt precisely to create that kind of a national platform where all the movements, progressive movements of the country can come together and work towards a bigger social transformation. And I just wanted to invite you to that movement. On behalf of the movement, one of the first activities that we are undertaking is the Jai Kisan Andolan. In this Jai Kisan Andolan, we are going to villages all over the country and in each village we present the three demands. One is that the land acquisition bill should be withdrawn. The second is that there should be a minimum income guarantee act for the farmers. And the third demand is that in cases of crop damage, there should be compensation exactly of the kind that you get for insurance of your motor, for your house or for any such thing. With these three demands, we are going to villages and we are requesting villagers to contribute one kalash of soil, Khet ka mitti. It's a kare apne Khet ka mitti ne. Us mitti ko leke we are marching to the parliament and we propose to have a rally outside the parliament on the 10th of August. I would request and invite all of you to join this campaign. I feel particularly privileged here because I can see, I, I know that uh, that each of you represent hundreds and thousands of people. Each of you can write, can ignite inspiration which will touch hundreds and thousands of people. That is why I came here to request you to participate in Swaraj Abhyan activities in general and in this Jai Kisan Thank you for your patience.